Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Banana Task Force Ape. So, what is Banana Task Force Ape, and why is this NFT collection a potential big gem in the NFT space? Well, there's many reasons, and I want to jump into first. BTFA is a collection of 10,000 Task Force Apes with over 200 unique traits. What makes BTFA special is that NFT holders have a shared stake in their company and revenue generated from the blip studios so btfa like i said a collection of 10,000 task force apes the benefits of being btfa token members includes being whitelisted to the future nft mint collections airdrop of our governor uh governance token that is banana index and then complimentary vip access to tiered events and guaranteed spots in future ideos so there's a lot to jump into today i want to go to their dashboard first and take a look at that but i want to also talk about reasons why btfa is different than many others they have utilities ready at launch certic audits already in place staking contracts audited it being interfi we have team is kyc so we have a sure defi pink sale and flus then we have the cex exchange listing in progress milestones are completed early and that's why they focus on retail marketing and expansion and then properly prepared teams so you can see here if you go to the dashboard you can actually connect your wallet metamask or wallet connect but i want to jump into what i would consider one of the biggest things and that's pink sale pre-sale or the pink sale pre-sale for banana task force so banana task force ape is the native token of the btfa nft collection a collection of 10,000 deflationary apes with over 250 unique traits our native token will be bridging the gap between web 3 and a real-time ownership BTFA gives holders access or special access to our private NFT Discord, which will be able to connect and network with fellow peers. Also, it acts as membership access to the future IDOs and Mint events. So, like I said, also Certic Audit is in place already. You can see that here. You can actually deep dive into the Certic Audit yourself and learn a little bit about what they have as maybe a you know a potential problem or really any of that but for the most part we did this they did the certic audit it all came back very very clear and it's looking fairly good and i want to jump into their twitter as well so if today you guys are at all interested and the banana task force ape make sure to follow them on twitter they have a lot of great social media links down in the description of today's video so you guys can kind of learn a little bit more about which direction they're going and when to expect what i also want to jump back though to btfa and take a look at their roadmap so we talked about some of the big things like team is kyc so it's great to see that the team is fully verified it's a team that we know where you know who they are what they've done where they're going with this project we can also see the tokenomics being liquidity pool two percent tax of every transaction goes to the liquidity pool and then they have the staking reward so earn up to 80 percent apy by staking btfa tokens in our vaults they also have the marketing wallet so eight percent tax of every transaction goes to the marketing wallet for development and media expansion in cex listings last but not least this is the roadmap i want to talk a little bit about the roadmap before we call this video done because there's so much to really look forward to we have phase one being build the website you know private sale established creative direction they've done these things the certic audit the pre-marketing campaign. The one thing I really like about this project is that they are continuing to do a lot of things before moving too fast. A lot of projects move too fast, they get ahead of themselves, and then they have no updates for weeks, you know, months, weeks, uh, at the very, very least. You know, I, I don't want to see nothing for so long. So it's great to see these in phases of one, two, three, and four, and five, and understanding what's, you know, coming next with this roadmap. So listed on CoinGecko, listed on CoinMarketCap, Charity donation, Hotbit, Governance AMA. If you guys don't know Hotbit, a big exchange. We have good things coming in phase two. Phase three, though, it continues to get better and better. Phase four as well and phase five. But I want to talk about phase three specifically since that's the closest. Governance launch and airdrop, BTFA, NFT presale, tier two CEX listing, project incubation, AMA, BSC bridge established, Hotbit governance token, and then the ProBit listing as well, which will be a great listing to continue to give accessibility for this token to more and more people. They also talk about how to buy. So how to buy is definitely something kind of important to a lot of us. We want to understand, you know, what's the best way to buy a token with the least amount of fees. Well, BTFA currently runs only on the Ethereum network, which means it can be best purchased and sold through Uniswap. BTFA is a decentralized experiment project. As such, we always recommend the use of DEXs. And if you choose to utilize basically a CEX instead, remember to research it first and ensure it's both safe and secure. 
So you can actually buy on the Ape Wallet, buy on Uniswap, and buy on Dex Tools. Any of these three should get you closer to buying BTFA. I do want to say, guys, there's a lot of reasons that, like I said, I do believe that this could be a good project to at least look farther into. Um, they've done a lot of things correct. They're actually partnered with quite a bit of people already and a, quite a bit of companies. I think they're going to continue to build on their integrations and build really a lot of utility into this space. And we've already seen that so far with this project. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you guys are at all interested in BTFA, jump down into the description below, click those social media links, learn a little bit more about the project and get involved. Like I said, it's just all about research. Do your own research, do your own due diligence. I'm not a financial advisor. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.